Welcome, as today we're about to crown our racing and freestyle champions of SV4 here at World Finals 9, the track that all started our Rigs of Rods coverage. Hello everyone, I'm Tom Frasco, and joining me in the booth later will be Connor and later on in freestyle Super Baymax Zero, as we are about to witness an incredible competition of racing freestyle plus two incredible encores that we cannot wait to witness here today. Many of these drivers are ready to go in, and only two champions will come out. And who knows, maybe it might be just one driver getting all two of them. We will find out as so many heavy hitters are here, including Kutabas, your points champion. Connor, who's won many events this season. Isaac is here. Dupe is here. BRD and Gravedigger came in here and just had enough points to make it to the top eight. As many drivers are all here, eight have advanced, and only eight will compete. So now let's see what's going to happen here, as we're going to start things off after intros with racing. Starting off at Thunder Alley, we're well, coming out of Thunder Alley, then making that turn with the turning poles. Hit a pole that's a five second penalty, and then cross the finish line. Then. After one encore, there's freestyle. Two minutes to fill and 30 seconds to fill in order to get a score. So now this is going to be a very great event. We cannot wait to start it up here in Las Vegas. Let's see what's going to happen here, starting with racing. All right, fans, it is the first race for the semifinals in the advanced auto parts lane. It is Dupe and Cowboy taking on the point standings winner and tour winner, Coop and Maximum Destruction. Who will take the win of the finale, Thomas? Who are your bets on? Oh, man, it's kind of hard to choose because, I mean, Coop, he, he did have a few wins here in the season, around like, uh, I believe, three or four. But Dupe actually surprised us all and got two wins this season. First mm. win in Miami, and then the other one at the IZOD Center. So, I mean, it's really anyone's game. So, we'll, we'll see what happens here. Yeah, for sure. My bet's on Cowboy. Just no offense to Coop, but Cowboy nailed that turn last round. Vanway drivers, wiggle your tires, and you're ready. Both drivers are ready. Watch for the going chat. And they're off dead even. Maybe a slight edge to Max D, but who knows? It all depends on the turn. Exiting straight away, Max D flying because Dupe didn't mess up in the chicane a little bit, but coming to the turn. Oh, Dupe takes it way too deep, so going to the finale will be maximum destruction. Congrats. Can he stop it in time? Just stops it. Wow. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the last race of the semifinals. Who's gonna face Coop and Max D? We're gonna find out right now. It's in the advanced auto parts starting line. It is Connor Bauer in Lucas Oil Crusader but in the build for tough starting line. It is Lionel Herrera in Grave Digger the Legend. This is gonna be a really, really cr uh, close race, I'm probably gonna guess. Uh, Coop, who do you think is gonna win this race? Because my bets are on Connor. Uh, I gotta say, my, my bets are also on Connor. He's been really fast all night. Uh, he's a really good driver. He's re really well respected in the community. I really think he's gonna win this race. No offense to Lionel. He could, he could pull an upset here, but we we just have to wait and see. All right, drivers, wiggle your tires and you're ready. Both are ready, as now Coop is going to give the go in chat for these drivers to go off. Here we go. Dead even off the line, coming down Thunder Alley, looking pretty even. Oh, nope, here we go to the final turn. Oh, and Lionel messing that up. It's going to be all jelly. And he will be facing me in the finals. Oh, and oh, Jeff. Look, at, look at this. And Lionel saves it. As now, it's time for the final race. Ladies and gentlemen, we had eight of the fastest world final contenders. For now, we're down to the final two. We are about to witness a racing champion being crowned. Who is ready to meet your world finals racing finalist? In the advanced auto parts starting line, representing Lucas Oil Products, 
It is Connor Bauer, Lucas Oil Crusader. And in the build for tough starting line, representing the most decorated monster truck in all of Monster Jam, it is Coop de Boss, Max D. This is going to be a really big race. BRD, who is your pick? I got to go with Connor. He's been looking fast all night, and he certainly, I think, has one of the best times right now. But drivers, we'll get your tires when you're ready, and Thomas, give them the gift. Everyone, let's go racing! And dead even off the line. Right now, Coop has a truck length lead right now. Go so final jump! Oh my! I think that was Connor. It was Lucas Connor. It. Ladies and gentlemen, your racing world champion of SMU 4 Season 1, Connor Bauer, Lucas Oil Crusader. And now, he's the only one that can get a double down. And that would be pretty insane if he got it, but right now he's going to celebrate with a racing championship. BRD is going down to the floor right now to interview Connor Bauer, your new racing champion. Connor, you are the new racing champion of the SMV4 Tour. How do you feel? You know, dude, it, it feels amazing. I said in Tampa that I was not mad of getting second place in points against Coop. He earned the championship for the Tour, and the racing championship is what I wanted most here. And... I was very scared of Lionel and Isaac, I'm not going to lie. But, you know, Isaac got taken out by Lionel, which made me even more happy. But Lionel was still a challenge. You know, it just came down that final turn. Dude, my heart is beating right now. We are making history in the SMV4 League here tonight. First ever SMV4 ra League Racing Champion. And now I am a two-time racing champion in the rigs community in general. This is my second ever championship. It feels amazing. We're going last for freestyle. I'm going to go all out. If I can double down and become a three-time champion tonight, I will go nuts. But again, that's not my goal. My goal out here is to have fun for freestyle, and hopefully, hopefully someone can get new, can get the championship. I really don't want to double down since it's like, you know, it's the same old winner. But dude, I am stoked, and I'm just absolutely speechless right now. All right, fans. Give it up for Connor Bauer and Lucas Oil Crusader. All right, joining me in the commentary booth, it is Super Baymax Zero, as now we are about to witness our first encore, the racing encore, and it's all about Team Scream Racing, the best jelly working with them, driving Avenger, Coop and Brutus, BRD and Spike, and Dupe and Wrecking Crew. Baymax, let's go and sit and watch this incredible encore that's about to unfold. Heck yeah, I'm ready to see some team scream action here tonight, and they're just jumping up right now. And I'm mostly known for that crazy right air. And always like, the racing winner has the start us off, and, and Connor's actually, I, wasn't a truck that I actually just survived for this tour though. Oh, but he fits perfectly for this truck though. This got some team scream cyclones. Man. Oh my goodness, look out! <laughs> Looks like they're going all out here. Look at oh, BRD. Yeah. He's flipping. Can he save it? No. BRD's over. We got three team screen oh, trucks left. So BRD, he's on his lid and spike. We have three more team screen trucks left. Look at Connor with some nice air. Coop with some cyclones. And then there's Duke getting some nice air. Oh, team screen matches another fans very nice. And, and I wish I could join back. Oh. Connor's over. Who oh, can he know he's over? We got two more. Oh no, wait. Connor just flipped over. Duke's the only one left. I don't know. What? Like, what the heck is going on here? He's lining up for something on the triple. I was gonna go for here. Oh my. Maybe he'll lag there. He boots up the pod. I, I think he, he might be just parking it here. Oh wait, he's lining up. Oh. Freestyle power here since all the members have flipped over. Oh, oh my god, look at Alright, but now we're getting ready for freestyle. 
<laughs> one encore down, one to go, and one competition left. Fans, don't go anywhere. First up in the SV4 World Finals Freestyle Championship, it is BRD and Gravedigger. So this is going to be pretty interesting as he is up first. Nice to start it off here. All right, now he's going right to the triple already. It's going to be pretty tough for BRD because nobody else has gone up yet. So he can't watch anybody else go on the track to get a better idea of what he wants to do. So he's got to do it right there on the spot. Nice, starting things off. Going pretty good. All right, here we go. As now he's going right for... Oh, trying to get some air off that, but he really couldn't get it going. As now he's eligible for a score. He just passed... The, oh, 30 seconds. Look at this. Trying to get a nose wheelie, but he couldn't get it. All right, here we go. Let's see what else he's got. Going for the NGK containers here. Nice air there. A little bit on two wheels. Keeping the truck on all fours. Going up. Oh, I thought he was going to go for the NGK ramp. Seems like instead he's going to try to do some donuts. Dizzy Egg Digger Donuts. Got a little bit. He's got one minute left. He's going for a cross thread. Backflip. Oh, no, no. No, he flips it over with a score of a 22. BRD has started off our World Finals Freestyle Competition. Next up in the Freestyle Championship, it is Vortex Games and Eradicator. Let's see if he's able to beat BRD's Grave Digger, the 22 here. Huge air from the boat. He is crooked off the triple, and he saves it. Unbelievable. Now he's in a very tough spot here, but this is the World Finals. You got to push forward, and he is able to get out of it. Yep, there it is, as now he's able to continue on his freestyle. He, he, he should actually know the good real momentum and the rhythm that we go for that truck. And he got him back to there, and he's going with the middle ramp. Nice air there. 30 seconds are up. That means that he's eligible to try to get to the Freestyle World Championship up on two wheels. A little bit of a save there. And oh my, look at that. Again, from score to be it's a 22 from Blake Kane Davis or BRD for sure and Gravedigger. And so far, Vortex is doing 10 decent, and he's going for the uh, uh, triple jump. Oh. Oh, <laughs> he's going to clear it. Can he, can he land it, though? He's going over. Look Flipping out. what? Oh, oh, no. He got really close to the wall, but he was the first one to clear it, but it wasn't a successful landing. Oh, oh my no. goodness. 50 seconds left on the clock, but there will be a score. It's going to be a 19. Ladies and gentlemen, for one more time for Vortex Games and Eradicator with a 19 sitting in second. All right, folks. Next up will be Isaac Godley and Monster Energy, and he's got the green to go. And Thomas, let's see how how he would do this. He's a, a rookie at close quarters, and so they'll say it's time to start right now. And yeah, he started off in the middle of the season, and somehow, some way, he got a perfect amount of momentum to bring him all the way up into the top eight. And look oh, at him right oh, now. Oh my god, huge! Oh no! Oh, he didn't fill in 30 seconds. That's a zero for Isaac flipping over way too early. But you can see right there, he got really huge air. Like, massive air. But that landing right there on the side tires is what did him in. Alright, fans. And Thomas had to actually leave the booth right now as he's out with Bigfoot. And joining me in the booth right now is Scoop the Boss, who will be freestyling later tonight. And Thomas already on the field. What are your thoughts on him going out tonight, Scoop? Uh, the, the, I, the track was really tacky in racing, but I want to see if the, I'm hoping that that didn't carry over from racing to freestyle. But, anyways, let's see what Thomas can do as it looks like he's lining up for the metal ramp to start his time. And he's going for the oh, he's backing up. Phew. Showing time to have pump momentum of the king of monster trucks, as they called Bigfoot back then. Here we go. He's gonna get the fans ready. And fans, get on your feet, because Bigfoot's coming in the house going big. Nice air. Not nice air for Thomas Braxton. Ooh. Big... That could have ended badly, but he's still good. 
Indiana almost a bad rebound there. And <laughs> time starts. Hmm. Well, the Terran ran a nice jump there as well. Having a little bit of kind of lag issues, I guess, because a little bit of a slow momentum though. But, but so far, uh, as well, if he feels time, this will take the lead. I'm hoping thanks so. Uh, uh, as, as and he's eligible for a score if you're starting off with a sky wheelie. Indeed. I'm ready to see what Tom's going to do. Again, 22 is supposed to be from BRD and Gray Vigor in 20. And he's going some donuts right now. First Cyclones of the night. Almost like Nicely Cyclones. executed. And he's going to go right for the boat as well. <laughs> we saw Vortex go for that. And Tom's going to go like. Almost ended his run. Almost ended uh, Vortex's run early. As he has one minute left. I'm just a little bit of lag issues again, and though. But it, but if it did, if even with the lag, if he if he doesn't, if he fails all the time, he will take the lead. I'm hoping so. Uh, uh, as what the judges will think of this run, guys. I'm actually looking good so far with the King of Monster Trucks as well. Going for the container. <laughs> nice jump there, there for him. Oh, a little bit of a, a rebound there as well. I think that this might take the lead, even with. Oh, I think you know. I think I know what he's lining up for. Thomas, oh. do it. Let's see. Is he doing it? Oh, he we is. Have, you think we have the triple whip off? Sky Willy, nice air. Clear it. And he lands it perfectly. And, uh, I think this might take the lead. He has five seconds left. Four, three. And it looks like he's going for the triple reverse. Oh, this save this might count. This might count for this go oh run for Thomas Rational and Bigfoot. Now we're gonna actually wait the scores and he is still time. And if I'm right, he's And he's and he's gonna take the lead. He's your new leader, and what a run fans give it up for Thomas Rational and Bigfoot. All right, All right, I'm back into the commentary booth after a really great run. Track is actually way better than racing, um, but now it is time for Duke to try to beat my score of 28. There is a lot of room. Let's see if he's able to do it. I have high hopes oh, for Duke. Look at this. Nice. A really great start. Representing Stock, Hardstock Motorsports, as this is actually Team Mate that Gunslinger, and Truck that actually did not run this season, though. However, I'm actually looking forward to Pilot Gunslinger. And if Duke wants to actually pilot Cowboy again, I'm looking forward to every team with him again. Yeah, but let's see who will be piloting what truck. Season 2 starts in December, as we'll be taking just about a week off just to freshen up and get ready for that season. He is eligible for a score, and he's putting up some really great hits. If he could keep this up and get some more wow factors, this is definitely going to take the lead. Triple. Oh, we're gonna take it a little easy this time, though. Hmm. Gonna take it a little easy from like last time. Time. Hmm. Maybe he's lining up for something new, I guess. But so one minute is left for his time, and and so far a good run for our Duke and Cowboy. Hey, oh, no. oh, 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 oh! Oh no! He's over. Yeah, that that stack right there. It is pretty tricky. It could literally catch you at any moment. And that ended his run early with a 20. But ladies and gentlemen, give it up for a great run from Dupe and Cowboy. All next right. up. Yep, next up for the freestyle competition. It is truly a heavy hitter. It is Lionel in Grave Digger the Legend. Look at that huge cross thread. Oh <laughs> he got he got right into that middle ramp as a landing. Oh my! He wants to put up some really great hits. He wants that freestyle world title. He wants to be called the freestyle champion. He's got to earn it, though. Let's see if he's able to do it. He's got to beat my score of a 28. I'm really here for racing, though, but I'm thinking he's looking for revenge after what Connor did to him in racing, though. And yeah, 30 seconds are up. He is eligible for a score. Oh! I think I'm starting to sweat in the hot seat. He is going absolutely insane. If I'm right now, I'm probably going to get nervous right now because... But the legs has come after him, and he's going for the triple already! Oh, <laughs> Look at that, clears it! Oh, Beautiful kid. landing. And he's able to turn to the middle ramp! Look at this guy go! Huge oh. hair! 
And the worst one minute question, remaining. Have you ever? The answer is no, I've never. Oh my. If he keeps this up, we're seeing a new leader and possibly a freestyle champion if he's able to hold on there if he's oh, up there. Oh my, look at that. <laughs> Man, he, he has a lot of experience on Rings of Rods. He has a, de yeah, definitely improved his driving style since the last oh, time we were here at this very track, World Finals 9, from the thinking. first ever tour in 2019. He is a lot better compared to last time. And look at the huge air again! Oh my god, I think we're seeing a new leader for sure. Indeed. You can see right there why he is actually a threat here and a monster meltdown, which I defeated against him in. Hmm. Oh. And that was actually a broke to me on monster meltdown, though. Oh, which what I is this? Start very soon, though. Hmm. Hey, Max. Oh. oh my god, can he, can he do it? Wait a minute! Oh my! <laughs> look at this! This, this is gonna be it for the time! Oh my god, if this is not a new leader, we gotta get the judges out of here. Because this is an unbelievable one. There is 32! Lionel is your new leader. Well deserved. What a run! Alright, it is time for the final two freestyle contenders. It is time for Coup de Boss, Maximum Destruction. Joining right here in the booth with me and Baymax, it is Warthog. A uh, driver who's not only really good at driving, but also really good at commentary, as he's making another uh, guest appearance here. Welcome to the booth. Uh, thanks for having me here. I know I missed racing and all, but oh, now that oh, I know oh, who oh, won, Coop is all over the place. Can he save no. it? No! Oh, 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 no. And, and he that didn't one, fill in 30 seconds. It's a, it's a very, very tough track, as that just showed right there as he got very crooked right there on the triple, and unfortunately, the truck is over on its lid. Uh, as Coop is leaving the Wolfons for that championship, but he put up a really good run for uh, the season, but ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Coop and Max Deer, points champion, as he wants to defend that points championship next season coming up. We are down to the final freestyle of the World Finals, trying to beat Lionel's 32, it is Connor! And oh, oh he's my already God. starting he's off! With a huge leap! It seemed even bigger than uh, Lionel's leap! Sheer sure wants to win Lionel two championships Lionel. in one day. He's oh still my. Big. So, guys, what's your opinion on Connor? Currently, is your defending racing champion now since he got the racing one, but now oh, he oh. wants to go for the double then. I'm not sure. He usually wins um, two events at a time, like one time in one racing and freestyle. Oh, okay. Okay. Remember what that was? What can you say over here? No. He comes out and, oh, man. He is now, over. I'm not sure if that's going to happen. And it's not going to be. As he had a minute and 25 seconds, he just passed the 30-second mark, but it's going to be a low score. As... Scores are coming in soon. Scores for 16. That means your freestyle world champion is Lionel Hura in Grave Digger the Legend. We are not done yet. We still have one more surprise. One last encore. It is Team Grave Digger coming out. We have Coop the Boss, the best jelly, Duke, Lionel Herrera, Warthog. Sean making his debut in here, and we also have the one and only BRD in Gravedigger, the driver that has drove in this truck this season. As now we have one last special thing here for this encore here today, and it looks like possibly a truck jump to begin it off. BRD is going to jump over a few trucks here. As Sean is about to line up, it's going to be a total of about six trucks. Six trucks BRD is going to jump over. As now he's lining up, getting ready to go. Sean is now parked, so all six trucks are all lined up, ready to go. 
BRD backing up to the wall. Alright, looks like he's taking off. Seems to be just making sure that that truck is not going to go off in the corner. He wants to make sure that that truck is perfectly straight. And also he wants to make sure he has enough momentum to jump all of those Grave Digger trucks. Lining up one more time looks like possibly. Seems like, I guess he's ready I guess, as now everyone's got their cameras out, ready to see this great moment. BRD, Grave Digger, 6 truck jump. All right, here we go, this is it. He's gonna clear it. And oh yeah, this is Grave Digger. They're not done yet at all. As now they're able to keep going for you fans. This is Team Grave Digger and they're just gonna keep going until their trucks are completely damaged. And completely in the ground. As look at all these drivers sending it here. Look at Coop's Grave Digger. His whole entire front end is destroyed. And then Lionel clearing the triple. Man, look at everyone going out of here. Dupe with a nice old school Grave Digger. Everyone going absolutely insane. Look at Coop. He's, he's dragging his Grave Digger across the floor. So many are going out here. Look at Ward and Lionel! Huge, huge air from the AGK stack! Oh, Ward popping a little wheelie! Look at Connor! Oh man, he completed a forward momentum backflip! And Coop is trying to drive this thing. BRD for a backflip! He's got it! You don't know which one to watch, everyone's going absolutely insane throughout this whole encore. Lionel's over, as now Sean looks like he wants to go for the triple. BRD's gonna beat him to it. Here we go, BRD's got it, as now we're watching, oh BRD just went over there. Multiple Grave Diggers on the floor now. As now here comes Dupe, huge Aaron old number seven. Oh, here comes Sean. Sean is uh, lining up for the triple, looks like. Look at Dupe! He's over. And here comes Sean for the triple, in son of a digger. And he clears it perfectly. Nice Cyclones here for Sean. Look at this, as Connor's got the truck. He's got it reshot on. He's trying to flip it back over. He's, he's not done yet at all. And he's got it! Looks like Sean pushed him back over! And what a great encore so far. Looks like not everyone is done yet. Look at Connor as he just goes back over here. Back into Thunder Alley. Oh my, he's going full send! Huge air! Can he get it? Once again, he got it. Coop's got a repaired Grave Digger back on the track. Connor trying to go for a backflip, unfortunately. Yeah, he flips over. Coop just saved it. Look at that as Coop, you got a little bit of air there. Sean trying to take his time around the course. Here comes now Coop lining up to the triple. Wait a second, I think we have more Grave Diggers coming in. This this reminds me of um, uh, Dennis Anderson in World Finals 2. He said, I have another one in the back, I got another one. As looks like... Yep, that's Lionel! Freestyle Champion trying to go for the backflip! <laughs> Some weird landing he manages to get it. Coop pirouettes. He's over. Or maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> He's still trying to get it back on all fours. We have another truck. Connor got another truck. 
huge air. Hard landing. It's still on all fours. Now we have four grave diggers on the track going at it here. Wow. Look at everyone just trying to flip their trucks, breaking. Look at that, Connor bangs into his other grave digger truck. Oh, Sean with a hard hit. He saves it. Oh, Connor's in trouble. Connor just flipped back over his other truck. He's still going. Oh my god, it's really hard to see everyone go because everyone's going absolutely insane here in this encore. So many drivers are just throwing grinder all over the place as we're seeing some of the best moments in this one encore alone. Looks like Connor is... Looks like he's done here. And it looks like... Here comes Lionel. Backflip. This is the last moment for the encore. And there it is. As he parks it here. What a encore this has been. Like, wow. Unbelievable. As Son of a Digger flips over, and we're done. What a great event this has been. Congratulations to Connor for the racing win and Lionel for the freestyle win. Ladies and gentlemen, good night from Las Vegas.